Welcome back, everybody, to Altcoin Daily. My name's Austin. In some breaking news as of yesterday, pro-Bitcoin Senator Cynthia Loomis has just proposed a new crypto regulator for the United States. We'll discuss this along with the most recent altcoin news, most recent metaverse news, lower cap altcoin news, and much more. If you're interested in making money with cryptocurrency, click subscribe right now. We drop a video every single day demystifying this cryptocurrency market. Let's jump in, starting with Cynthia Loomis. And this proposal of a new crypto regulator in the US is a part of a much bigger crypto legislation meant to bring some much needed clarity for businesses involved with cryptocurrency in 2022. Here are the details. Senator Cynthia Loomis, Republican Wyoming, a member of the Senate Banking Committee, and one of only two sitting senators who hold Bitcoin in their portfolio, at least that publicly disclose that they do, plans to introduce a bill that would drastically alter the legislative and regulatory landscape for crypto. This was breaking news right out of Bloomberg. According to the report, the bill would create a new regulatory body to handle crypto affairs, which would be jointly overseen by the SEC as well as the CFTC. So what this bill is essentially saying is, we don't want these legacy existing bodies to regulate us. They barely understand crypto. We'll form a committee, we'll handle this, and we'll make some basic rules for ourselves so people have clarity. The bill will reportedly also establish how different types of crypto assets are classified for regulatory purposes, for example, stable coins versus regular cryptos, also codify crypto taxation rules, make it clear, outline regulations for stablecoin providers, and include consumer protections. Very interesting. In a direct quote on this proposed bill from Senator Loomis, I'm optimistic that we'll eventually reach an agreement on a legal framework for digital assets that resolves many of the long-standing issues, including regulatory jurisdiction, market integrity, self-regulatory organizations, and stablecoins. Give me your thoughts on this down below in the video comment section. Right now, what do you think? And by the way, whether this passes or not, because we are in very early stages, it has just been proposed at this point, I would much rather have pro-Bitcoin US senators, people that actually understand what this is, handling the legislation as opposed to the SEC, who clearly doesn't get it. Now, on Twitter, Loomis did call for all U.S. voters to reach out to your prospective senators to support the bill, saying she is still looking for bipartisan co-sponsors. Here was that exact call to action as of yesterday. We welcome bipartisan co-sponsors. Please encourage your senator to reach out and consider it. So if you live in the U.S., maybe sometime after the holiday, reach out. Tell your senator what you want because any legislation put forth in the Senate would likely require the support of at least 60 lawmakers to be put to a vote. At the moment, we are completely divided with Democrats controlling 50 out of the 100 seats in Senate and Republicans controlling the other 50. All right, so I will keep you updated how this progresses. Again, to me, whether you like regulation or not, in my opinion, the US will eventually, sometime this decade, I'm hoping, eventually provide clarity for this crypto industry in the US, and I would much rather have that come from pro-Bitcoin hodlers. That's me. And next up, let's talk about the metaverse. PwC Hong Kong has just purchased a land plot in the Sandbox metaverse. Wow, huge sign of validation for Sandbox from PwC. And of course, PwC Hong Kong is the international subsidiary of the global PricewaterhouseCoopers PwC organization. And this was just announced Thursday. Though the cost of this land asset was undisclosed, it was noted that PwC Hong Kong intends to construct a Web 3.0 advisory hub to help facilitate a new generation of professional services, including accounting and taxation. So PwC is an accounting slash auditing firm, and they're saying, hey, we'll open up shop and provide those exact same services to you in the metaverse. And make no mistake about it, this company is huge. The global organization, PwC, headquartered in London, documented revenues of $45 billion in just the last year, up 2% from the year prior. 
So first Snoop Dogg and now PWC Hong Kong signing on to the Sandbox Metaverse. Pretty cool. And next up, big piece of news for Dogecoin. The Dogecoin Foundation is now working with Ethereum co-founder Vitalik Buterin on Doge staking. So the new Doge proof of stake version aims to allow anybody to get rewarded for their contribution to running the network. So this Dogecoin Foundation, which has been inactive for about six years, just came back into existence a couple of months ago, back in August, is making big potential changes. The foundation on Thursday released its Dogecoin trail map or dog walk, basically a roadmap that the Dogecoin Foundation is committed to exploring. And with this proof of stake switch, such a version would allow all Dogecoin users to stake their Doge and get extra tokens for supporting the network. And honestly, I'm not even sure how they would do proof of stake without doing a hard fork, which would be a totally new coin. Think Ethereum Classic and Ethereum, two different coins. Give me your thoughts on this down below. But either way, this is just one piece of the much bigger roadmap, which is the first roadmap from Dogecoin in the protocol's history. So speaking of this, what are some of the other potential proposals on this roadmap? As part of its roadmap, the meme coin announced eight new projects, some small, some large. The first project is the complete makeover of the dogecoin.com website. So a complete redesign. Another update for the developers was the meme coin network announced the lib dogecoin project. This will be a complete C library with dogecoin protocols which will allow developers to integrate the meme coin with their apps and their systems. Also over time, this library will include bindings to other popular programming languages as well. So an optimization for the developers and much more. If you're a Dogecoin holder, you're loving this today, it will be interesting to see how this plays out in 2022. And next piece of quick news for social token platform XCAD. Arabic speaking channel AZ Family, who has over 8.3 million subscribers on YouTube, are issuing their own fan token on XCAD, pushing XCAD's presence even further within the Middle East. So I'm not too familiar with the AZ Family. If you are, feel free to comment down below. Do you subscribe? Do you like them? But either way, this seems to be a huge get for XCAD. Let's keep moving. And next piece of quick news for Envoy which is a platform for NFT enthusiasts, why Envoy will play an important role in NFT adoption for millions of users. And while this NFT revolution is only growing on multiple different platforms, a potential issue is all these platforms and NFTs are now scattered all over the place, and it's really hard to centralize your collection and show it to your audience in a curated way. And by the way, while we love decentralization in general, you don't want to have to bring up eight different platforms to show off your collection. You want it in one spot. This is where Envoy comes in with its showcase, collect, and earn platform. Basically providing NFT fans with something like they're more used to. Fans are used to just looking at Instagram or any other social media platform and feel trusted with the content that's being presented. With NFTs, there's still no easy way to do this. So that's why I loved this update from Envoy. Envoy will focus on building an API that connects all possible integrations needed to showcase an entire collection in one place on a single platform. This will potentially open up the floodgates for new users to explore the NFT space through their favorite brand, artist, or friends. So this is the type of infrastructure that's being created right now. For example, this is where Envoy would come in with all these different social media feeds and different apps, bring them all together, for one specific place you can go for the NFT industry. All right, as we get more info, I'll keep you updated. And next piece of XRP, potentially XRP killer news. Swift plans to explore tokenized assets in Q1 2022. And for those who may not know, Swift is the traditional legacy system. They are what XRP was created to disrupt cross-border payments. And now in 2022, Swift says, eh, we'll look into this digital asset revolution ourselves. The global provider of secure financial messaging services, Swift, is planning to launch an innovative pilot in the first quarter of 2022, 
that we'll see it explore interoperability in this nascent asset tokenization market. So the race is on. Will it be SWIFT? Will it be XRP? Will it be Stellar Lumens? Because right now, SWIFT does currently have the legacy user base. SWIFT's chief innovation officer said that with the organization being able to link more than 11,000 institutions across 200 countries, it is strategically positioned to engage closely with the future of tokenized securities. In a direct quote, we look forward to this set of new experiments and innovating collaboratively with the market participants on the emerging trend of tokenized assets. And I do believe in this case, SWIFT is specifically focusing on testing out stablecoins. The experiments, according to SWIFT, will use both central bank digital currencies, CBDCs, as well as established forms of payment, which may include the US dollar, euro, etc. So I guess why this matters to you is this would be potentially competition for XRP or Stellar Lumens. I would think. Let me know what you think. But that's the video. My name's Austin. Like always, have an awesome Christmas. We will be releasing an interview tomorrow and Sunday because Aaron and I will be hanging out with the family, celebrating Christmas. So like always, see you tomorrow with an interview and then back on Monday. See you then.